kicked goals in four of the nine games, but when he's kicked goals, he's had days out. He's got so much skill. Kicks from directly in front. Good looking kick off the boot. He's uh, put it through. And it's like that, I reckon, when you come in. He was replacing Sean Wren, who's in the selected side. What a matchup that'll be. Smith and Jupe. Beautifully done by the power. A chance for Stevens. He's good on the run and makes good. What a great goal to Nick Stevens. Just chases and harasses the opposition. Beautiful pass. Spotted <laughs> up James. And James said, get out of my way, I'm taking the mark. So Roger James played all but two games last year, so really crept under our guards a little bit. Kicked three goals last week. And has kicked 42 goals in 62 games. So likes to kick a goal, workman like. Kick a goal is terrific. Made no mistake in the power on their merry way. Back to Primus, he's gone. Was he pushing the back? He was. He's a bit stiff for Choney, but it was a push. Primus won't like it. No doubt Bruce a kick was there. Just again, I, I mentioned the matchup to start the game. Mark he's Ray, him here. Look at this. Him there. Well, he's got to get off the bloke. I mean, attack the push. The umpire got it right, Chris Mitchell. The kick was there. Hutchie, as good as he's been Primus this year, he hasn't kicked a goal this season, so this might be something new. OK. So we'll watch him with interest. Great shot here of Primus to the hoops of the Hawthorne faithful. Kick on goal was magnificent. And Power are up and oh. running. Francis just trying to get around and then cleverly goes to Cockatoo Collins. He's got James on. Won't go there now. He's just outside his range here. He's going to go very short to Treadray. They're going to back him in and Great. his hands are brilliant. Okay, Bruce. He's right? kicked 17 8 this year. 17 8. So been okay then. It's been good. Yeah. He has been good. These are the ones that gave him so much problem last year. He's pretty careful, as you'll see. Four goal. He's kicked it well. He's happy. So, Port Harford and Chad Corns. Well done. Chad Corns, well done. It was. First real touch for him today. That'll help him a bit. Kicks to full forward. Uh, Ackland, is it? Big fly in the front it is. Stevens is a beautiful finisher. Caresses it and caresses it home for a goal. Oh, that good for a car. In fact, it's running so hard. Car just keeps it in. Did well. And then Carr, good kick to Treadray. Oh, terrific play at the back by Grave. Gee, Kane Corns has been impressive. He's had three goes and got it each time. That ball didn't go where he wanted it. Go, your gang tackle. Wicked in. Goal. Never misses those. Young Kane Corns is so clean. He's come out there in the heat of the battle and three times he's taken the football cleanly. Really zone up. Nowhere to go now, that's, the, that's the ultra flood they're playing today, Hawk. Yep. He's got to play at the back here. He Hawk tries better. to spot him up, gives it everything to the goal square, and it might bounce through. <laughs> it might bounce through. It has bounced through. What a magnificent goal. Arrived in this season today more so than ever, I reckon. They've sent a clear signal to the Melbourne public that they're a genuine contender this year. They've beaten the second best side in the comp on paper already. And... They'll now move to second, I think. We'll check that in a moment. Yep. Kicks towards centre wing to Carr. As Hawk just scrawls his votes. <laughs> Might take a bit longer to write the apologies out. Carr takes it. Knows there's not much time left. Just begging for the siren again. We've played 32 and a half minutes. There it is. It was almost a plea of passion from the timekeeper. Mark Williams. Well, he might be happy. There's Nick Stevens, who's... And they bring it back inside to Stevens, who sets up so many of their attacks. Stevens goes long, Cocky's at the back, goes to the front. Graham stood his ground well. Wanganeen, here's danger, and also uh, Montgomery. Montgomery hooks back to the front of the square. Porter got a chance here. Cockatoo Collins front spot. Tries a little kick away. Can't need to handball out. Burgoyne left foot by Burgoyne, held up by Hay. Back to Smith, gets it out. Montgomery loves his situation. Big fly got it. Third in line. He was always the man, wasn't he? Can Montgomery kick a goal and put four, Port 5 in front here? Had a reasonable match. So the kick on 50. Not a bad kick. It's a chance. It's going through. It's a terrific goal. Well, they're hard to beat now. He's had a wonderful game. Treadray got the better of the bounce with Hay. On his left foot, keeps it in play. Good kick, Jew running hard. Still Jew running hard. Still <laughs> Jew running hard. Still Jew running hard. And kicks a hard goal. Dixon ripped off at Wakeland. Almost a throw. 
The kick came out. Treadray against McFarlane now. That's his third opponent. Burrowed underneath his cockatoo Collins. Rode the pump. Tunnel ball. Good stuff. Treadray now runs off. Left foot kick was deliberate. It's found him. It's found Burgoyne. Stevens is on it fire. On. Burgoyne's played on. He's on fire too. And Port should win the game. Primus just didn't take control. Pachoni looking for a free kick. Montgomery found some space. Might have been touched on the way through. Due front spot did well down to Treadray. Treadray hooking high. It's going to be a hard ball to mark. Ackland underneath. Oh, oh, oh. Collins brilliantly done. Coming from the side and takes a beauty. One of your favourites, Bruce. So tenacious. Kicks inside 50 to Kane Corns. Rawlings is a bit too experienced at the back. And backed himself in to take the mark. Kicked it poorly. Carr again. Kicks it forward on the overlap. Good chance here. And Rawlings just frustrated with himself there. Burgoyne will kick the goal. He's kicked two. He's watching Hay. Hay come off the ground now. Tallis back on. Here's Carr just banged the ball along. The thing about Burgoyne, the good thing about it, he read the play beautifully and prepared to get in front. And as you said earlier in the game, Bruce, four out of nine games, he's kicked goals and they've all been good, good games. I mean, he, bags, he's, he's they, a right? bit hit or miss sometimes. He's so mercurial, but... Uh, He's had a terrific match today. If he kicks this at the top off, a very, very good game. 14 goals before today, two two today, and has just about squeezed it through for a goal, I reckon. He's kicked 21 goals for this year, he? so he's, he's hardly missed these. That's putting pressure on him, but uh, he's kicked a goal in every game so far. 25 metres out, straight through the middle. That's it. Goes short to Stevens and finds him about 45 metres from goal. He may get a vote today, Bruce, Nick Stevens. Am I doing the votes? I think I am. Yeah, thank you very much, Merv. Yep, he may get a vote here. Nick Stevens has been very, very good. He's had 29 touches now, I think he has. Coming up for 30, and he's yep. kicked two goals, one in the uh, first and one in the second. He, uh, well, I reckon if uh, Jared Healy and the boys were picking the AFL Team of the Year right now, he would be in it. Primus would as well, and certainly Stevens. Good looking kick. Geez, a good play. A good he is a class act. Paxman on here, Hachi. Paxman's away. Loose options everywhere. Kick inside. Just didn't quite measure it, did he? Oh, Wanganen caught McCabe napping there. Did beautifully. Can he finish this off with a miraculous goal? A la Matthew Larkin. Wanganen has kicked a goal. That's his trademark, isn't it? He is so innovative. Arrived in this season today more so than ever, I reckon. They've sent a clear signal to the Melbourne public that they're a genuine contender this year. They've beaten the second best side in the comp on paper already. And they'll now move to second, I think. We'll check that in a moment. Yep. Kicks towards centre wing to Carr. As Hawk just scrawls his votes. <laughs> Might take a bit longer to write the apologies out. Carr takes it. Knows there's not much time left. Just begging for the siren to go. We've played 32 and a half minutes. There it is. It was almost a play of passion from the timekeeper. Mark Williams. Well, he might be happy. There's Nick Stevens, who's 